Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Justin Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is going to be for my beautiful Aries. We're starting off the week. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. I'm also doing personal readings. Uh, my email link is on the description page area. You'll see it when you go to my page. Click email. Alright, and so we got the Ten of Swords energy here. And the Five of Swords. Somebody, you see the difference between these two cards? It's almost as if at one point, this was a motivation. You were stuck in a place you weren't 100% happy with, but you made the best out of it. And so there were clear cut instructions about what you wanted to do while you were in that situation and you made it happen for yourself. You knew it would only be temporary, which is why you were just very goal-oriented and getting your way out of that situation, whatever it was. You know, sometimes misfortunes happen, bad things happen. I'm talking about somebody, it could have been like a financial situation. So when you guys had to, you lost a house or had to rebuild again. Some of you guys moved from home. Some of you guys uh, lost a job. Some of you guys had to take a temporary extra job just to be able to pay off all the extra bills because, uh, like I said, things happen. Some of you guys got an extra debt. Either way, you saw the situation and you made the best out of it. You were very, very specific with what you wanted to do there and you did. You made it happen, right? So then you get to the Five of Swords here. Look at the difference between this card and this card. Yes, there's more flowers here. Blue ones, orange ones, there's more color here, right? And it's almost as if the stick is white and blue. It's almost as if you, you made the best out of the situation, but after time, it almost seems like the situation made got the best out of you. It almost felt like if you kept being stuck in the situation you were in, you were going to practically just die of boredom. Uh, you would have to sh just be more stressed than you wanted to be. It's almost as if you knew you didn't even belong in the situation that you were in. And then after so long, it's like you just got comfortable because the situation was easy. For some of you guys took on a job that was not even something that you were passionate to do. So like I said, you were just there planning to stay there for about five, six months, right? And then until you found something better. But because some of you guys weren't able to find something else, you guys ended up uh, just settling there. Some of you guys were hoping to get a promotion at specific places and that didn't happen either. And you were like, yeah, this is exactly why I didn't really want to invest 100% in this because I can go find a place where I'm more appreciated. For some of you guys, this right here actually was with a relationship. It's almost as if you were messing around with somebody that you knew you could do <laughs> It's like you knew you could do better, but you were sitting there putting yourself through something because I think some of you guys were just not emotionally available. Maybe you had gone through a real breakup or a real, you know, divorce and realized that, you know, right now you just wanted to be you and not be defined by a relationship. So I, I see what you mean. Some of you guys were hanging around places that you were not supposed to be in. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you were stuck there. So it just started to seem like the situation started wearing you down. Which is why you go to the full energy. What's well, that's the next step, right? It's like you're leaving, you're leaving the five and the ten of swords, which is the worst case scenario. The envir you are a product of your environment to knowing that if you don't leave out of there soon, you're gonna end up getting yourself in situations that are gonna make it worse for you, or possibly a tower can come in and disrupt your whole life in order for you to pivot because you're making the choice to stay there instead of moving on when you knew this whole time you had a six month plan to get the fuck out of there, right? So it's almost as a two, there's no passion where you came from. It was all blue, it was all calm, it was all like whatever. Since you weren't challenged spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, you weren't like pushed to do better or pushed to, to you know, it's almost as if what you were doing wasn't causing any real desire, which is why you knew you didn't belong there, right? And here you are going from that to the full energy, going towards a wand, the five of wands energies, getting yourself in situations and pat, uh, Passion-driven situations. Some of you guys went from a lifeless, cold, very, not even lifeless, but like very mental, just mental energy, right? Going from nothing but mental energy to, to, to passion. The heart, desire, right? Because, because you get the five, right? With the Knight of Cups. This is what you're going towards. 
This is what you're going towards. The knight with with the knight of the five of wands with the knight of cups. It's almost as if this new place that you're headed towards, right? Because the fool is it's you're taking a leap. You could have easily stayed there, but you knew nothing was gonna grow. To taking the time to invest in something that's actually could be fulfilling. A new beginning, somewhere you could actually be pushed. Or, or somewhere you can actually be, you know, where you can expand your mind. You can learn new traits, new skills. Something that's going to put you to the test. Something that's worth you investing in. Something that's worth you actually going towards and, and enjoying throughout the day. It's like something that's fulfilling, right? Because look at the difference between these two energies of the mind, the realm of the mind, right? Basic to these two energies. It's a whole different world. It's, it's right? A whole different world right here but your heart it's it's going to require you to open up it's going to require you to step up into this confident version of yourself that you've always known but it's going to be more more of a risk because you've you haven't utilized these skills in a while which they don't go away by the way but you're actually going to put yourself past your boundaries past your limits um in a, in a positive way then you get the Knight of Wands, right? This is what I'm saying. Knight energy, a new beginning, a fast-moving, approaching, more confident version of yourself, a more open and expansive version of yourself, a more passionate version of yourself in this new territory that you're about to embark in. Some of you guys already know. It's already it's already here. It's coming. You, you guys, Some of you guys are about to have some interviews this week. Some of you guys are about to uh, meet beautiful people, um, people that are more aligned with who you are. It's almost as if what you're leaving behind is a reminder of what you were in the past and that's not you anymore, which is why you avoided a huge tower by decided to walk, but when you decided to walk away versus now, uh, the version that you're about to come into, it, it's gonna it's gonna push you to be different. It's gonna require you to be more vulnerable, right? Because you have desire, confidence, and, and blue, right? With the heart. It's going to require you to speak up more about what your boundaries are. It's going to allow you to search new, not search new territories, but it's going to, it's going to have you kind of realize how vulnerable you actually can be. And I, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to, you never had the opportunity to be as vulnerable as you were, but this is going to be a whole new opportunity to be that version of yourself. And it's going to be something to get used to, right? Because you haven't been that version in a while. In a very long time, some of you guys were closed off, right? We're not open to, like I said, relationships. You're going to have to be open again. Some of you guys are going to have to be open again. And that scares some of you guys. Like I said, it's it's a great reward that you, you're going towards. So it's going to require great risk. Great risk by the fool, right? Leaping off. You need to leap off. You're going to leap off because you know it's what you want. You go from this complacent moment where it's safe because it's of the mind the mind rules that realm to being completely open completely vulnerable completely driven confident eager to learn it's a night energy it's it's it, 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 it's fast moving fast approaching a risk taker a messenger right um it's all of that so all right guys i think that's all i have for you i don't think there's anything else let me see what's this Hmm. Yep. You're on your way and you don't even see it coming. <laughs> You're on your way. You don't even see it with the seven of cups, right? So many options. You're going to have a couple options here. But like I said, this out of all your options, you're going to realize that what you really want is to invest. You were always a risk taker. Even if that means being open and and failing. That's what you do. You're the leader. You you go out there and you you take risks. It doesn't matter if it pays off or it doesn't. It's the fact that you, you're willing to do it. It's the fact that you do that and you practice that every single day. That's what makes you invincible. No matter how dark the path is, no matter how... Um, you don't know what the answer is, right? With great risk comes great reward, but, but you're still willing to do it. Which is why, like I said, you're the best of the best. All right, honey, that's all I have for you.